Babies deserve all the love, affection, and attention in the world. But when a female police officer in Argentina discovered a poor abandoned baby near a Buenos Aires hospital, she decided to take matters into her own hands. What she did will shock you and leave you with tears rolling down your face. Celeste Ayala had always wanted to be a police officer since she was a little girl. Everyone told her it was a boy's job and that she could never make it. But she didn't listen to them and made a vow to herself that she would prove all the haters and naysayers wrong. Against all the odds, she eventually became a well-respected and highly loved police officer, and that's where the story starts. Celeste was on duty at Sor Maria Ludovica Children's Hospital near Buenos Aires. She would walk the corridors, wander around adjacent streets, and monitor what was going on at the hospital. Rarely did she ever see any trouble, but when she did, she quickly and effectively dealt with it. In doing her job, Celeste had met and got to know many people. Patients, doctors, drivers, caretakers, all of them had a lot of respect for the police officers who kept their hospital safe. Remembering back to her time on the beat at the hospital, Celeste said, It was a great job. Very cushy. I found the place to be very relaxing and the people to be fantastic. It's always heartwarming to see people wanting to help other people. There's far too much hate in the world today, but working as a police officer at a hospital really allows you to see the good in people, despite it sometimes being sad. It was a quiet day, and as Celeste walked, she wished that the end of her shift would arrive sooner. It had been a long and warm day, and nothing much had happened, so Celeste was ready to get home and slip into something more comfortable than her work uniform, after soaking in a much-needed bubble bath. But as she walked and daydreamed of the evening she would soon have, she heard a strange noise, one that broke through her daydreams and pricked her ears. It was crying, but not any crying. It was a baby crying. The noise wasn't coming from the hospital. It was coming from a bush in the gardens that surrounded the hospital. Celeste rushed towards the sound and started searching for its source. Soon enough, she found who was making all that fuss. It was a small baby boy, only a few days old. It was wrapped in hospital bedding and looked as if it had not long since been placed there. But who would do that? Who would put a poor infant in a bush like that? She quickly picked up the baby and rushed it into the hospital and to the children's ward. The doctors checked the child over and found it to be completely healthy. But they were less than helpful with the child's future. They told Celeste that the baby had been born there four days ago, but the mother was insistent that she didn't want to keep it. Doctors urged the new mother to take the infant home with her, but it seems that she was determined and abandoned the poor child in the bushes outside the hospital before fleeing. Celeste ordered them to hand over all the information that they had on the child and mother, but it seemed like there wasn't much to be found. The mother had been homeless and had no address to trace her to, and what CCTV footage they had of her was blurry and unusable. It seemed like the poor little baby was destined to be motherless for the rest of his life. The doctors told Celeste to leave the baby with them. They would contact social services and they would take the baby to an orphanage before potentially being rehomed. Celeste felt her heart weighing heavy and she felt a strange burden of responsibility for the baby. The poor thing was less than a week old, yet his life was already in chaos. She looked down at him as he quietly cooed in his hospital cot. She wanted to hug the child one more time before she left. Celeste couldn't just walk away without showing the baby boy at least a little of affection. But when scooping him up, she saw he looked very underfed. Speaking about the moment, Celeste said, I noticed he was hungry as he was putting his hand into his mouth, so I asked to hug him and feed him from a bottle. It was a sad moment. It broke my soul seeing him like this. Society should be sensitive to issues affecting children. It cannot keep happening. Celeste mentioned how hungry the baby boy looked to the doctors, but they seemed uninterested. They told her to just put the baby down and they'd get around to feeding it at some point. But this wasn't an acceptable answer as far as Celeste was concerned. If the poor little baby boy was hungry, then he couldn't be ignored. She was also gobsmacked at how uncaring the doctors on the children's ward seemed to be. Yes, they were busy and yes, they had lots of other children to care for, but there was a baby right there in front of them that needed his care prioritized over the other patients. 
All she could do was shake her head as doctors walked to and fro, not even sparing a glance at the poor, starving infant. Celeste knew how important it was for newborn babies to feed. It was essential for them to eat if they wanted to grow and become strong. So without a second thought, and with her mothering instincts kicking in, Celeste started feeding the child. It was the only thing that she could think of doing. The doctors all seemed shocked and looked down upon Celeste as she fed this poor and unfortunate abandoned baby. But Celeste just ignored them. She knew she was doing the right thing. She had sworn an oath to serve and protect people, and if this baby needed her to feed him, then she knew that's what she had to do. News of Celeste's unusual yet beautiful and compassionate deeds spread after her colleague, Marcus Heredia, posted a picture on social media of her feeding the baby. Heredia wrote, I want to make public this great gesture of love that you made today with that baby, who you did not know, but for whom you did not hesitate to act like a mother. You did not care if he was dirty or smelly. Things like that are not seen every day. Heredia's social media post went viral and was shared more than 100,000 times. The story really struck a nerve with people from around the world and they heaped praise on Celeste for her kind and unwavering actions. She knew what had to be done in order for the baby to survive and she did it. She didn't question anything. She didn't think twice or falter. She saw that the child was in desperate need of food and she fed it. But why was everybody so shocked by Celeste's actions? After all, everybody can feed a newborn from a bottle. The difference is that the police officer did not ask for any formula, but just sat down and breastfed the baby with her own milk. Coincidentally, this amazing story unfolded on August 14, which is the National Day of the Female Officer in Argentina. It seemed like fate that something so special and memorable would happen on a day like that. Because of her kind actions, Celeste was promoted from officer to sergeant. Christian Ritondo, the Minister of Security of Buenos Aires province, took to social media to tweet about the promotion, saying, We wanted to thank you in person for that gesture of spontaneous love that managed to calm the baby's cry. That's the type of police we're proud of. The police we want. Celeste even received praise from the local fire department that she volunteered for. They headed to social media to celebrate Celeste's promotion in the police department while also saying, Actions like this fill us with pride. Luckily, the baby boy found himself a new home very quickly, and he settled into a family that didn't live far from the police station. Every now and then, Celeste would pay the child a visit and smile at how well he was doing. He would grow up knowing how one kind police officer cared for him, believed in him, and saved them from certain death. What do you think about this incredible story? What would you do if you found a poor, tiny child that has been abandoned? Would you help it out or would you leave it for someone else? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.